sitting here today is a culmination of over two years' work across not only Navy but um, civilian industry in the preparation of the models that allow us to practice and hone our ship handling skills within an, uh, an LHD context. The last couple of days have been devoted to both assuring ourselves that the model that's been produced is accurate or as accurate as we can know it to be at this stage to the LHD ship handling characteristics but additionally ensuring that ourselves that we're starting to work our way through how we are actually going to manage the bridge and the conning and the close-in ship handling realities that sit up for, sit across the LHD uh, the benefits of coming up to Port Ashley the trading um, provides us with an opportunity to sort of get to know um, how the ship handles. Uh, the models are quite accurate uh, and provide a good depiction of how the real thing's going to handle. So coming down here uh, gives us an opportunity to see that. Uh, and not only that, with the new uh, propulsion system, one that's quite unique to the Navy, um, that has little um, uh, knowledge of uh, corporately, uh, gives us an opportunity to sort of practice some of those skills or learn some, some of those skills and uh, how we're going to drive it. Before we talk, stop. Stop, no way. Up tug, lift off half. Behind me, you'll see a finger wharf, which does represent part of Fleet Base West. And uh, we use the boat shed for an approximation of Fleet Base East. So all the familiar, uh, the familiar uh, spots are there. We'll go and clear fire. Go and clear off. One of the features of naval ship handlers is that although they are professional ship handlers, they don't get the opportunities. Fuel's expensive, uh, uh, ships are expensive to run. Um, simulators only give part of the picture, but for raw ship handling, uh, you cannot beat either the real thing or indeed the real thing in miniature, which is what we've got here. It's a much, much more versatile and maneuverable vessel, but that means it's got a lot more options that you could potentially be using as well, and that brings with it a level of complexity. It takes a little while to get used to it, particularly for people like myself who have spent most of their time in, in twin screw twin rudder or twin screw single rudder ships to move to something that's quite different. The, the beauty of it is, is that with a facility like Port Ash and the available simulation that we have now, is that we can compensate and overcome those particular challenges.